Hello everyone, Fluffy here, uh, back with another cooking mukbang. And today we are making chicken fried steak. I just felt like Vanna White. <laughs> anyway, my daughter's in the background, kind of helping me with this. So if you hear noises in the background, that's that's what it is. Um, this is kind of a big challenge to do this uh, in front of the camera because there's so many steps. Uh, but we're going to give it a good old try. And I may have to pause frequently. Uh, this The cooking portion, I'm sure, is going to be pretty long. So if y'all know how to make chicken fried steak and you want to get uh, straight to the eating portion, then feel free to skip ahead. I'm not going to be offended, okay? Just don't let me know you did it. <laughs> okay, as you can see, I have... My new cookware, I'm so excited. Um, so what we're gonna do is chicken fried steak. Uh, for some of that, whoops. For some of y'all who don't know what that is, I had it in the form of a sandwich at um, Dairy Queen, but this is better because we're making it handmade. And basically what it is, is it's chicken, you know how you fried chicken, you dredge it, you, bre you, know, you bread it, and then you deep fry it, and uh, it's with chicken. And uh, so you're doing chicken fried and then beef. And normally the way it's supposed to be done is with cube steak. And uh, some of your fancier restaurants use actual steak steak, like thinner steak, but I prefer the cube steak. And um, I'm kind of out of breath because uh, we were getting this all set up. I'm cut the potatoes and then I look at the kid and I'm like, do we have milk? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> so I had to run to the convenience store to go get some. So I'm kind of trying to get my bearings. So let's start with the dredge. Now for me, if I'm deep frying anything that I have to flour and stuff, like my famous chicken wings in the family, I season every step. So I will be seasoning the flour, I will be uh, seasoning the egg wash, and also the, the, the steaks themselves, the cube steaks. It's kind of hard, I got four of them to do. So I'd rather have a little bit more and waste a little flour than uh, not have enough. So we're gonna put some salt. Uh, don't get on me about the salt. You need a good amount of salt because it's beef, right? So, don't judge me. Some pepper. Some onion powder. I pre-opened the package of beef, so I'm sure they can smell that. With their sensitive nose. <laughs> Garlic powder. You know, this fifth season, it comes from Walmart. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I don't buy any of the fancier brands. Matter of fact, when I make my salsa, uh, I have to have these because it changes the taste of my, um, my salsa. Could be in my mind, but you just mix it until it's all even and you can kind of tell if you've got enough in here. I should use paprika, but we don't have any, so uh, this was not a well thought out mobile. <laughs> Look, I've got the cube steak, okay? <laughs> we are making homemade mashed potatoes. They are uh, boiling on the stove now because potatoes take so much longer to cook. So, and then chicken fried steak also comes with white gravy, and we are not Food Network, so <laughs> God dang it, we use the pouch, okay? <laughs> and then we're going to make the egg wash, and I think probably three eggs is a little much, but I, like I said, I'd rather have more. Thank <laughs> you. 
little bit of milk. And again, what did we use before? Salt and pepper, onion and garlic. And use paprika if you have it. And then once you start making it and you're like, ooh, that would taste good with this and this in it. Use it. It's your dinner. It's your recipe. Your money if you ruin it. <laughs> That's how you learn. Everybody adapts, you know. Now, I like to use panko breadcrumbs when you're frying, but it would probably be a major sin to do that to chicken fried stick. So, we won't be doing that. Now, normally, I would use my hands to dredge, but I'm going to try to use tongs and stay as clean as possible. Any of y'all mukbangers out there who do cookie mukbangs, you know that you kind of have to adapt yourself to the camera, do things a little bit differently. So. To let that one, yeah. <laughs> kind of a low table. I gotta keep a half an eye on these steaks because their dogs are right there. <laughs> All right. Let's get the oil in. I don't need all this oil. Yeah. So it's for the kid. Let's do the Jeopardy song, y'all. back y'all right, I told you there's gonna be a lot of pausing I just I'm sure y'all saw it because I'm gonna keep it in but uh, I lifted the pan up to check the flame and I was just about to do it again okay. flame looks different today I don't know why and I already see an accident coming so I'm gonna turn that So we got a nice polish on the table because of the oil. <laughs> right now my left leg is moisturizing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Almost. Yeah, I think as soon as we get we get done dredging the first one, it'll be ready. So, y'all know how to dredge, right? I, I don't have any fans that are worse cooks in America, right? All right, first we're gonna do egg wash. Flour, I should have done flour first. I'll do that to the next one. So the egg wash will stick, but we're gonna double dredge. Now, how many times you dredge is gonna be determined by how much flour you actually want on your chicken fried steak. We're kind of middle of the road people. We don't want it too light because then, you know, that kind of really defeats the purpose of chicken fried steak, right? So we're going to do a double dredge. This goes faster if you do it by hand, but Right. 
and then here we go. Oh, that sounds so good. You hear it? Oh, I can already smell it. Oh. I think I'm just going to do a single on this one since I started off with... Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I'm going to turn it over. I'll get it close up, okay? <laughs> Already ready. She's looking at these. She's looking at these caca tongs. <laughs> She's like, use the other one. <laughs> why, why am I getting them up? Is that cockatoo? Hang on, y'all, about to get a lecture. She's like, cock contamination, all that. But I got one of her famous looks, so we had to buy. We don't want burn chicken by today. Burn these and see what we're looking like. Oh yeah, I'm glad I turned them. I'm glad I turned down the oil. She is her mother's daughter. She must get it from her father, because certainly not from me. I might even gonna look over there, because I already know that I'm going to get a face, so. Set myself on fire right here in front of the camera. Ooh, that looks good, don't it? Yes, yes, yes.
So we're good. As soon as these are done, my daughter was signal signaling to me that the potatoes are done. So we just have to um, get the pot, uh, warm up the butter and the milk. Now the trick to non-lumpy mashed potatoes is warm butter and milk. Okay, so I'm gonna get it all ready. Yes, the tongue hanging out helps with stability, okay? I don't know why you even ask me. You know what? Kids don't go out of the brightiness uh, when they get older. They don't. They're doing the whole trick. Oh, that's what we like. I mean, hello. Or whatever the hell it is we're making. She walked away from that. <laughs> this is from the, uh, the black pepper and uh, the egg wash. If y'all are wondering. putting my hand on my leg. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I finished up the two other two and it was going to be a kind of a thing to get it off. So I went ahead and just finished them up uh, away from y'all. You saw the first two getting fully cooked. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm heating up the butter and the milk to go in the mashed potatoes. The reason I don't have my new pot is that I will be blending the potatoes in the pot. And I didn't want, <coughs> excuse me, to nick my new pot up with the, the hand mixer. Do not put your potatoes in a blender in a food processor because you will over blend it and you will have wallpaper paste. I don't know where ours is. It might have gotten lost in the move. Things swapped out, but we haven't been able to find it. So until I can get myself a new one, I told my mother that I wanted to do this. Um, she was all for it, and so she let me borrow hers. So. You see little Miss Molly to Molly right there, all their toys. We finally kept tripping over them, so we found their little toy basket and um, we put most of the toys in the basket. Needless to say that the new toys that Asian Country Girls sent, most of the squeakers are already out of them. <laughs> Miss Molly to Molly likes to do it, but who really is the culprit is Sheba Dog, Big Dog. Uh, she'll usually do it. We catch little dog, uh, little Miss Molly, every now and again, but it's mostly big dog that does it. So, as soon as my daughter saw the little uh, hamburger, she's like, "Yeah, those won't last long." So while they've maintained their integrity, I don't know how she got them out of there, but the speakers are out. And on one of the little green uh, bones, little plush bones, uh, the squeaker is still inside, but it is dead. He doesn't squeak her anymore. I need a spoon so that I can stir a potato, but um, big this big clump of potato. I mean, uh, butter in here. Thank you. This these potato this uh. Stuff is pretty warmed up. I'm going to take that big hunk of butter out. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. By the time we get the hot milk in there, 
Yeah, because it's starting to. This is just by feel. I may need that more milk, but we're going to stir right now. And uh, potatoes. There we go. the noise I'm hearing. One of the thingies is bit. I hope it wasn't us. I hope it came from I hope it came from my mother bit. And there you have it y'all. Really smooth potatoes. I know right? Chef's privilege. Although my daughter cooked potatoes. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, perfect amount of salt in the potato water, kid. Okay, all the components are done. We've got to do some shifting around of the meal so we can serve ourselves. Uh, so give us a couple of minutes. It may be a few for us, but it'll be a blink of an eye for y'all. So I'll catch y'all back in just a few minutes, okay? All right, we're back. And uh, this is the meal. Woo, 28 minutes I saw, but I'll have to edit some stuff out. Uh, I did a close-up of the meal as always, and I'll put it in right here. Wasn't that so, oh, doesn't that look good? I cannot wait to tear into this food. I'm serious. I haven't made chicken fried steak in forever, in forever. And we have the pot of gravy standing by because we go heavy on the gravy in this family. <laughs> we don't want to get up once we start eating. <laughs> and what do I go for? Tomato. Pretty fast, so I was kind of concerned about the inside. Oh, damn it. Right? Mm, mm. First bite. Mmm. Mm, mm. mm. That is so good, y'all. So good. So the meat is cube steak. You could use steak steak. I think I went to one restaurant one time and they used a uh, real thin regular steak. It was okay, but it's not something I'm used to. Um, seasoning at every level really helps. Regular ice water, and I know you see the shut up, Mona. I know you see it. Oh, and while we're talking about shut up, Mona, Miss Mona, the one who I'm talking about, she now has her own channel, and uh, it'll be vlogging mostly vlogging. I say mostly because I don't think she really uh, knows exactly what she's going to do, probably a variety of things. I know she can cook, you saw that on her son's channel. So, 
I just want to give her a shout out. I think she's got two or three videos up now. If you want to go and check her out, I'll put her link. However, wherever it ends up being. <laughs> I think it ends up being here. I think. The right. So, yeah, I think it ends up being here. Which means what, Miss Mona? People are going to come looking at you, so you need to get to filming. And my other friend that I asked y'all to check out, which you've been doing, so I appreciate that, um, 24 Paws and uh, Coffee Creamer, she is currently in another state helping out family. I think she mentioned that she was leaving. I can't remember if she actually said the state, so I'm not going to say the state. Um, so I'm not sure if she'll be filming while she's out there, but that's why she has it putting another, another video out so mm -hmm. she likes my daughter likes to put onion powder on the tomatoes how's dinner yep so good mm. steak a little dry but because I cooked it too high like I said this burner I mean y'all if you get one it cooks really high and you saw what I did to the oil and so it was up too high and so we had to finish it off in the toaster oven so I think that dried it out just a tad but the flavor is there and how do you fix the dryness add more gravy <laughs> And more gravy. Mm. 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 So good. So good. It's like a Sunday meal when it's not Sunday. Now, it is 5.55 p.m. I don't anticipate this getting up till sometime tomorrow, which is Friday. So. I feel myself getting sick, like cold sick, you know. We already have flu-like symptoms. So, I've been kind of hanging real close to the house, except for the run to the convenience store. So, and my niece is coming into town, so I'll probably go see her at my mom's tomorrow. We'll probably go over there tomorrow. Gurby's hot as hell. My daughter has no words. Every time I look over at her, she's just nodding yes. <laughs> Which I think if she said anything, she'd say, mm, mm, mm. Okay, now look again. I got this look. Don't recognize that, right? We don't have it plugged in yet, but we will. Oh, look, the light from the living room. Look, I got a halo. I got a halo. Okay, nice. Gotta look again. Well, the dogs were in the shop. <laughs> no. Thank you. Where are the other two? <laughs> if it was a French fry, I'd sneak you one, dogs. Mm -hmm. 
told you they know if they're sitting here for food somewhere. <laughs> Except for when we do hauls, then they get confused. <laughs> Y'all can tell this is my cat Von D because it's staying. Yeah, I went to the convenience store and I saw these two little kids. I'm talking three and four or four and five. They were really young, really young. The oldest one maybe was six, maybe. Um, I pulled into the convenience store so I could get milk. I paid too much for it. Two bags of tortilla chips and a carton of milk was $8.99. Yeah. Anyway, I saw these two little kids running around the corner, but there was this other lady kind of walking to the back of the convenience store. And she looks like she was about to get into this food truck that was stored back there. I kept thinking to myself, but look like she said, go on in and I'll be there. But I kept thinking, I wouldn't send my kids to the front of the store that young and I'm in the back of the store. So I went ahead and pulled in. I just went inside and it took me five minutes because I couldn't find my card. So then I went in and I heard there's a restaurant in a convenient in the convenience store and I heard the lady talking to the children about where's your parents and still no parent had come in. I spent about five minutes in the convenience store and they were going back and forth on whether or not they should call the police. And I didn't have my cell phone, I had left it at home. And the one lady, well, I was hoping that the parents would come. I said, you know what? It's not about the parents anymore. Shame on the parents for not knowing the kids came all the way to this convenience store. So by the time I had left, they made this uh, this convenience store because there's a restaurant and it had these little tables and chairs by the window. And by the time I left, they were still debating it and the kids were sitting at the table. So I hope they sure did call the authorities because... When I drove home, which is the only other place the kids could have come from, the whole way home, and it's a ways, I saw no parents out, you know, like in the street, maybe looking for the children. I don't know. I just irritated me. Look, he almost blended in. I almost didn't see him. We were going to make this the one came meal, but she's not really feeling good. She suffers from migraines. She doesn't get them very often, but she feels one coming on. So <clears throat> I'm telling you, for the both of us, this time it was a feat to get this all together. So we've got some ideas. Probably going to happen this weekend. Uh, stay tuned for that. Um, probably gonna do a giveaway probably not sure yet we talked about it and if if we do it's gonna be trivia so you newbies you know some of y'all have been going back and watching my videos it's normally where I pull the trivia question from and it's for what we've talked about y'all are gonna get <laughs> it's not gonna be an easy one of course I thought the last two I were, were hard questions <laughs> So, wrong steak. <laughs> wow, you've got one and a half done. I've got one and a quarter. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat my potatoes and then see. I may have to tap out on the steak. Hear a heavy sigh. She went. 
tell you, we got we had a lot of little meals, you know what I mean? So to sit here and eat like this, you know when we go to the restaurant, a lot of times for dinner we have to bring it home. And what made me think of chicken fried steak is my mom's birthday was the last, um, August 31st. And we took her to dinner. And my older sister and her daughter went with us. And every time we go to Cheddar's, that's where we went. Cheddar, did I say Cheddar's a minute ago? We took her to Cheddar's. My mom's all-time favorite restaurant. So we knew we were going there. And my sister loves chicken fried steak. I got chicken fried chicken. And that reminded me, ooh, I would love to do that in front of the camera. And so we had bought the instant potatoes and had them in the cabinet. And I told my daughter, Lord, let's get some potato potatoes. Let's do it. If we're going to do it, let's do it. So that's what we did. It was a team effort. Should I peel the potatoes on like that now? <laughs> Answer. They're stiff, but they're, they're pliable. <laughs> they're working. Look, they're working enough for me to eat supper. That's all I care about. <laughs> if I can do supper, then I can do a... I can do the computer. Remember, what did I cook? What did we cook? I say I cooked. You cooked it. And I was filming in the office and it had gravy. It came with whatever you did. It came with gravy. And I love gravy so much, y'all. I had it in a coffee cup. I had it in that pink coffee cup, remember? Remember? See, y'all could have been a good tier of your question. <laughs> y'all tell me what it was. I was in the office. It was a cup of gravy, and I kept pouring it over our meal. It was not the chicken barbecue, crock pot chicken barbecue. Didn't make, you've never made a meatloaf. I already know what it was. It was that gorgeous, big ass ham. Remember? Mm hmm. Mm, the ham. That was so good. <laughs> that made me cross my eyes thinking about that again. <laughs> oh, too, okay. You got some non gravy that you can give to Big Dog. And I'll give each piece to the little dogs. They're cooled off enough now. <clears throat> they've been good. Look, they've backed off. And we're going to pretend Big Dog listened. Molly. I know y'all like when I give them a snack. And um, little dogs, this Cito is eating it so fast and he's choking. So, I don't know. Could Sheba swallow it whole? <laughs> I think my kid's got to go take a nap. Mm-hmm. I don't think perishable is not, so we can just walk away from the table. <sighs> Good. I think I'm going to get mine in. You had that soup to tide you over. She hadn't eaten all day. Sheba, go. Picked up not wanting to mind because hello, she got a piece of steak. Taste a piece of steak. <laughs> Y'all don't give us steak. <laughs> By now, y'all will have seen the picture of the fixings before I started cooking. I thought it was kind of fun when I did the soju and canned kimchi that y'all couldn't see what it was. And you had a guess. And somebody goes, oh, those hamburger patties? <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Those potatoes, I'm so glad I went with the real. I mean, is instant potatoes aren't what they used to be. They used to be fake potatoes, potato flakes and stuff. And supposedly they're real potatoes. And really, when you're in a pinch, they don't taste bad. I mean, nothing beats what we did, boil your own and, and do all that. I mean, that's the best. But if you're in a pinch, I had my daughter's help, so I was able to do the real potato thing. But we were prepared to do the fake potato. Well, I mean, the powder potatoes. They've come a long way. They even have the ones now, if you are not into the flakes and stuff, where they're potatoes done up and they're in the freezer. They're mashed and everything. We haven't ever dried those. But. Starting to sniffing, but we're almost done. Okay. Wow. 47 minutes in. I've done longer. But there's not that a lot left. I think I'll eat it slower. And you don't need me to have me do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you to my kid for helping me get this together. Um, thank you all for watching. Those of you in Florida, um, you know, we're thinking about you. I know that some of the Caribbean islands, one was devastated. I think nine out of ten buildings were demolished. I think the mayor or somebody uh, declared it inhabitable. So I don't know how close. I think it's supposed to hit landfall if it stays on its current trajectory, hit Florida around the, uh, sometime during the weekend. So those of you that are having all those fires, I pray for you too. It's, um, I wish we could take the U.S. because it's burning up here and it's flooding over here and just go, <laughs> throw some water over there. Just got another look. Like, are you really saying that to them? <laughs> Yes, I did, okay? It's my video. I can say what I want. Anyway, on a serious note, I send y'all lots of prayers. Try to stay safe. Um, Janina, uh, Janina's eating show, she's still in the hospital. I don't know what's what's wrong. I think one of her comments said she was having liver issues, I think she said. And that was in her comment section, so I can I think I can say that. So, Janina, we're still all praying for you. Hope you get out of the hospital pretty soon. Um, so, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind, and I will talk to y'all real soon, okay? Bye.